India's soft power. India's soft power, which, I, which is the next section I'll concentrate on, India's soft power is appreciated in so many different ways. Some simple examples, sir. In the last three years, on the International Yoga Day, yoga has been practiced in large numbers in 192 countries around the world. Mahatma Gandhi's favorite bhajan, Vaishnava Janto Tene Kahiye, was sung by the respective uh, leads, uh, lead artists from over 40 countries. The annual Bharat Ko Jano quiz competition is sought after as an event to participate by not only NRAs, non-resident Indians, but also several foreigners themselves. I propose to consider issuing Aadhaar card for non-resident Indians with Indian passports after their arrival in India without waiting for 180 days. I repeat it. I propose to consider issuing Aadhaar cards for non-resident Indians with Indian passports after their arrival in India without waiting for the mandatory 180 days. Without waiting, we issue. I propose to launch a mission which will integrate our traditional artisans and their creative products with global markets. Wherever necessary, we shall obtain patents for them and the geographical index indicators, GI, for them. I wish to say this in Hindi for the larger audience of traditional artisans. Is uddeshya se main is na garima mai prangan se pehli baar yeh goshna karti hu ki hum Bharat ke srijanatmak udyogon ko arthvivastha se jod kar jahan avashak hai baudik sampata adhikaron se sanrakshit karke Rashtriya or Antarashtriya Bazar tab tak pahunchane ki muhim praram karenge. To give further impetus to India's growing influence and leadership in the international community, government decided to open Indian embassies and high commissions abroad, abo, abroad in countries where India does not have a resident diplomatic mission as yet. Accordingly, in March 2018, government approved opening of 18 new Indian diplomatic missions in Africa. Five embassies have already been opened in Rwanda, Djibouti, Equatorial Guinea, Republic of Guinea, and Burkina Faso in the year 2018-19. Government intends to open another four embassies, new ones, in the year 2019-20. This will not only increase the footprint of India's overseas presence, but also enable us to provide better and more accessible public services, especially to the local Indian communities in these countries. In line with our ancient wisdom, India has always pursued a policy of economic cooperation with countries through bilateral and regional coordination. Indian Development Assistance Scheme, IDAS, IDEAS, provides concessional financing for projects and contributes to infrastructure development and capacity building in the recipient developing countries. Mindful of our position as the sixth largest economy we will look at alternative development models which prepare, which include private sector equity, multilateral financing, contributions from corporates, non-residents, and so on. I propose to revamp the IDEA scheme during the current financial year. The government is developing 17 iconic tourism sites into world-class tourist destinations and to serve as a model to other tourism sites. The iconic tourism sites would enhance visitor experience, which would lead to increased visits of both domestic 
and international tourists at these destinations. With the objective of preserving rich tribal heritage, a digital repository is developed where documents of folk songs, photos and videos regarding the, their evolution, place of origin, lifestyle, architecture, education, levels, skill sets, traditional, and fo traditional art, folk dances, and other anthropological details of the tribes in India will be stored. The repository will further be enriched and strengthened as we go.